Hi, my name is Holly and I'm the Children's Librarian here at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado, and this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with snow in the city and snow in the country. It's time to share a story, a story today. Purr, it's cold here in Alamosa, Colorado, where I live. Is it cold where you live? We even have a little snow on the ground here, mostly in the shady spots where the sun hasn't melted it yet. That's right. When sun shines on the snow, it changes. I'll show you. It's cold outside where the snow is, but it's warm here in the library. Let's go get some snow and see what happens when we bring it into the warm library. Let's go. There. Let's see how this snow changes while we read our first story, The Snowy Day. This is a story about a child in the snow in the city. And it's written by Ezra Jack Keats. He wrote the words and made the illustrations. The Snowy Day. Winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. See all the buildings? That's how you, how you know he's in the city or in the town. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What do you think it was? It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Oof. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. Have you ever done that in the snow before? How does it feel to lay down in the snow? <laughs> really cold. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and he put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. 
Then he went into his warm house. Hmm. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Hmm. Wet socks. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Do you see where his snowball was? What do you think happened? Poor Peter. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. How do you think Peter feels about that? I think he looks pretty happy. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. Wow. Does snow pile up like this where you live? Those are really big piles. The end. Now let's think about some of the noises that you might hear in the town or the city when it snows. There's a little rhyme and it goes like this. Winter noises are so fun. Make them with me one by one. Tell me how it sounds when you shovel the snow. Get your big shovel and you scoop, scrape, and toss. Scrape and toss. Scrape. Scrape. Winter noises are so fun. Help me make them one by one. Tell me how it sounds when you throw a snowball at a tree. One more time. Winter noises are so fun. Help me make them one by one. Tell me how it sounds when you sled down a hill. Ready? Steady? Here we go. Whoosh. One more time. Climb up to the top. And sled back down. Winter noises are so fun. Help me make them one by one. Tell me how it sounds when a grown-up uses a snowblower. It's got a big grumbly motor. Hold on to the handle and push it forward. One more time. Winter noises are so fun. Help me make them one by one. Tell me how it sounds when you play with your friends outside in the snow. Yay! <laughs> Let's go from the town and the city in the snow to the woods in the snow. Let's read this one. It's called Over and Under the Snow. It was written by Kate Messner and the art was created by Christopher Silas Neal. Look at all that snow piled up. Just like our snow piled up and then made a big pile on the ground after it fell down. How's our snow doing? Hmm. Does it look the same as it did when we first brought it in? I see some drops of water on the outside of our glass and the inside of our glass. 
I didn't put any water in there. Where did that water come from? Hmm. We'll keep an eye out while we read over and under the snow. Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. Oh, do you see those people? Do you know what they're doing? It's called skiing, but they're not going downhill skiing. They're going cross country skiing. Over the snow I glide into woods frosted fresh and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur. A red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice it follows a cool tunnel along the moss, out of sight. Who do you think the little shrew was trying to stay out of sight from? Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust up the hill under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle up against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. I'm trying to find something left over to eat. Over the snow, I swoosh. Down, down, faster, faster, down, faster, faster, whoops! Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Boy, she's hard to see. Do you see that little hare? Under the spruce. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play in springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of sun-warmed days back when they had tails. Did you know that the bullfrogs used to be tadpoles? That's a story for another day. Over the snow I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket tips his ear to the ground, listens, listens, listens still. And leaps out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. 
His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard scritch, scritch, scratching along underneath, under the snow. Here's another one of my favorite stories. If you want to hear more about a fox in the snow, you can check out the book Little Fox in the Snow, and it'll tell you all about the fox's snowy adventures during the day and trying to catch something to eat. Let's see who else we see in this story. Over the snow I glide. A full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house under my feet. He's found a morsel to eat. Over the snow I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Some of the animals are awake under the snow, and some animals are sleeping all winter. Do you know what it's called when animals sleep all winter? It's a big long word. Hibernation. This bear is hibernating. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in spring. She's sleeping too, just like the bear, hibernating. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft flakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams. Of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. I like at the end of this story, it gives you some real true facts about the animals that we saw. And the author tells you there really is a secret kingdom under the snow and scientists call it the Subnivian Zone. You can read more about that if you check out this book called Over and Under the Snow. Let's sing one little quiet song about snowflakes goes like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes, all around, all around. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes, to the ground, to the ground. What do you like to do in the snow? Do you like to go quietly swishing over the snow on cross-country skis? or stomping with high knees and snowshoes? Or would you rather play with your friends, make snowballs or snow angels? Either way, before you go out in the snow, you've got to bundle up. It's cold out there. Let's sing a song about it. You've got to have some props to sing with me. You will need some gloves or mittens, a jacket, a coat, oh, a scarf, and a hat. Where is my hat? Oh, <laughs> silly. So go gather those things. Press pause on story time. I'll wait right here while you get your mittens or gloves, your coat or jacket, your scarf, and a hat. Go, go. I'll wait. 
You came back. Okay, let's sing the winter shimmy. It sounds a little bit like a song you might know called the hokey pokey. First, let's do our gloves. Ready? You put your gloves in, you take your gloves out, you put your gloves in, and you shake them all about. You do the winter shimmy and you turn yourself around. Brr, that's what it's all about. You put your hat in, you take your hat out, you put your hat in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter shimmy and you turn yourself around. Brr, that's what it's all about. You put your scarf in, you take your scarf out, you put your scarf in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter shimmy and you turn yourself around. Brr, that's what it's all about. You put your coat in, you take your coat out, you put your coat in, and you shake it all about. You do the winter shimmy and you turn yourself around. Brr, that's what it's all about. Wait, before we sing goodbye, we've got to check on our snow. Remember, we brought in a full glass of snow from outside. But now look what's happened. Does it look different to you? It looks different to me. There's a lot less in the glass and I can see some, something, oh drippy and wet. When snow melts, it changes from snow to liquid water. Hmm. Must be warm here in the library. That's why when the warm sun shines on our snow out in the park, it melts too until it snows again. Until we have stories again. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. Psst, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. There's a little rhyme and it goes like this. <laughs>